The DJI Pocket 4 has been sitting quietly in the FCC database for a while now, and even though the filing doesn't show everything, it tells us one important thing. DJI is almost ready. This isn't a concept stage leak anymore. FCC certification means the hardware is finished, the design is locked, and DJI is now just ticking the final boxes before launch. And the funny part, the filing is boring, but, but in the best possible way. Nothing experimental, nothing unstable, nothing that looks like last minute changes. That's exactly the kind of paper trail you see when a product is weeks away from being announced. The model number inside the certification, OP041, matches every single leak from the past months. No more guessing, no more naming speculation, this is the Pocket 4. And even though the FCC doesn't include product photos yet, the document does reveal one upgrade that is absolutely guaranteed, the battery. It's jumping from the Pocket 3's 1300 milliamps to 1545 milliamps at 7.7 .7 volts. That's roughly an 18% boost, and because companies list the typical value on the retail box, not the rated one, you'll almost certainly see 1600 milliamps printed on the final packaging. And that's not a small jump. On a tiny camera with a tiny body and a tiny heat system, an extra 15-18% runtime is huge. It means real creators, people who vlog, walk, shoot interviews, film transitions, can now go noticeably longer before swapping batteries or reaching for a power bank. And the interesting twist? DJI managed to increase the battery while still following their recent trend of reducing weight and improving materials. We literally just saw this with the Avatar 360, slimmer shell, lighter components, stronger structure. Now, the Pocket 4 is showing signs of the same treatment. That tells you something. The internal components are being refined, not band-aided together. DJI is optimizing instead of forcing radical redesigns. From the product outline inside the filing, the physical shape looks almost identical to the Pocket 3. Same silhouette, same proportions, no crazy redesigns, some people might see that and feel disappointed, but honestly, that's the smartest move DJI could make. The Pocket 3 design already works, the folding screen is a masterpiece, the grip is comfortable, the camera head is balanced. Reinventing that just for the sake of looking new would hurt more than it helps. Connectivity also stays familiar. Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth low energy. So no Wi-Fi 6 bragging, no unnecessary power-hungry radios, no flashy BL 5.3 Ultra nonsense, just reliable, efficient wireless that doesn't drain battery while you're trying to film all day. But the leaks, those are where things start to get interesting. Because if even half of the current rumors are right, this is shaping up to be the biggest Pocket upgrade in more than two years. The biggest rumored change is the sensor. The Pocket 4 is expected to jump to a much larger 1-inch class sensor. Not a recycled smartphone chip, not a tiny rectangle like the Pocket 3. This is a serious upgrade. But here's where things get clever. Leaks suggest the sensor might be cropped slightly. Not because DJI wants to limit it, but because a full 1-inch sensor physically doesn't fit inside a gimbal this small. Needs to be tubed, meaning the usable area is centered and compacted to match the internal stabilization system. And if you've been following DJI recently, you know they've been experimenting with square sensors. The Osmo Action 6, the Osmo 360, both use hybrid sensor layouts that make vertical video easier if the Pocket 4 really goes square, something like 13.2 mile to me by 13.2 millimeter, that changes everything. Now you can shoot true 4K vertical video without losing resolution. No more soft, downgraded 3K vertical like the Pocket 3. And in a world where TikTok, Shorts, and Reels dominate views, the ability to shoot proper vertical without compromise is a massive advantage, and then there's resolution. The Pocket 4 is rumored to record 6K at up to 30 frames per second for AI. Uh, that doesn't mean everyone will export in 6K, most people won't, but the extra detail means smoother reframing, cleaner cropping, more stabilization room, 
and more flexibility in color grading. And speaking of high frame rates, 4K 120 FPS is reportedly on the table as well. Slow mo on the Pocket 3 was good, but a true 120 FPS mode on a bigger sensor is a different world entirely. Uh, if DJI pulls this off, the Pocket 4 becomes a legitimate competitor to action cameras and mirrorless cameras for slow motion work. Exposure control is also part of the rumors. Some leaks say variable aperture, f2.0 to f4.0, similar to Action 6. Others say a built-in ND filter system, possibly upgraded from the Pocket 3's 5-stop design. Either upgrade would be great. Variable aperture gives you highlight control and better low-light flexibility. Tom Built-in NDs give you proper shutter control outdoors without carrying accessories. DJI might choose one or the other based on reliability and size constraints, but either way, creators win. Now, let's talk about workflow. The Pocket 4 is rumored to support 10-bit D-Log M, which automatically puts it into a more professional space. This means cleaner highlight recovery, smoother gradients, and footage that holds up better under heavy color grades. It also means your pocket footage can match your mini, air, or Mavic drones more easily in the same project. Internal storage is also expected, maybe 32 GB or more, with expandability via microSD, and Osmo audio support is reportedly being added, meaning it'll work seamlessly with DJI's wireless mic, something creators have been asking for since the Pocket 2 era. The next rumor is one that could alter how people shoot with this camera, 360 degree panning capability. Think about the Osmo Mobile 8, how it can rotate endlessly for cinematic rolls and hyperlapse transitions. If the Pocket 4 gets even partial 360 degree rotation, your walking shots, reveal shots, and creative transitions will look completely different. This is the kind of upgrade you actually feel when you're out shooting, not something that feels like a spec sheet number. Um, of course, there are still limitations. There's little evidence of a true gimbal lock mode for traveling. and something the community has asked for repeatedly. We might still get the soft case solution like the Pocket 3, and while the sensor and processor are bigger, the body design staying almost the same means heat management will remain something DJI must balance carefully. As for the release window, the strongest date floating around is December 18th, 2025. That lines up perfectly with DJI's rush before the FCC import deadline, but if it slips slightly, January during CES 2026 is another realistic window. Pricing is expected between $500 and $600, putting it in the sweet spot. More affordable than mirrorless setups, but premium enough to deliver serious tools for creators. And before ending, we need to talk about the Insta360 Ace Pro 3 rumors, because both cameras will shape early 2026. Uh, the Ace Pro 3 seems to be going the opposite direction of the Pocket 4. Instead of refinement, Insta360 is going for maximum power, a triple AI processor, a new Leica sensor, possibly 60, 70 megapixels, crazy low light performance, and potentially 8K60 recording. That's brute force, pure specs, pure horsepower. If the rumors are true, the Ace Pro 3 might be the most powerful action camera ever made. But here's the key difference. The Ace Pro 3 wants to be the ultimate spec monster. The Pocket 4 wants to be the ultimate storytelling tool. One is built for people who edit heavily. One is built for people who want to shoot easily, two different philosophies, two different workflows, two different creators. And when you look at the Pocket 4 leaks as a whole, the message becomes obvious. DJI isn't trying to win a spec war. They're trying to build the most polished, practical, creator-friendly, handheld camera they've ever made. Uh, a camera that focuses on movement, color, simplicity, vertical video, clean stabilization, long battery life, and real-world usability, a camera that feels effortless. And if even half of these leaks turn out to be true, this might be the most refined pocket yet. Not the flashiest, not the craziest, but the most complete. A true evolution, a creator's tool, and honestly, is probably the pocket upgrade everyone quietly wanted. Alright, that's everything we know so far. Subscribe.
since I'm based in China, you'll see the Pocket 4 here before most channels. Thank you for watching till the end. I will see you in the next one. 